Welcome back, guys. We're just getting ready for the next game. For those of you just tuning in, uh, this is SGDQ 2014. We're raising money for Doctors Without Borders, so stick around. We're going to have some good runs coming up. Yeah. <laughs> this looks fun. <laughs> oh, it is. What's the genre called? Action adventure. Action. Whoa. That's my favorite category. <laughs> Alright, so, like, when? Will you say when? Alright. So, three, two, one, go. Hello, everyone. I am Caveman DCJ, and this is Tomba 2, The Evil Swine Returns. The plot of this game is that you are Tomba, and the evil swine have returned. <laughs> oh, that's a good start. Well, I mean, it's more a plot than Bubsy has. So, alright, good. What I'm doing right there is the one trick the game has called boost jumping. It's when you swing your weapon and then immediately jump afterwards. And it increases your forward momentum, and you can like, like the first time you do it, it's just a little boost, but it gets like, it increases more and more the more you do it. There's not a lot of places where you can actually do that though, so it's just a nice little thing that you can occasionally do. And uh, right now, this is the main event of the game, the unskippable cutscenes. <laughs> You'll notice that I'm wearing pajama pants for this comfy game. It's weird, I always usually wear pajama pants, but I would say I wear jeans today. Yeah, you're not dressed for the occasion. I'm not. Yeah, me neither. Neither. I recommend all viewers to go get a nice cup of joe, perhaps a bagel. <laughs> Dude, I love bagels. Just sit back and enjoy some breakfast, Tomba. Asiago cheese bagel? <laughs> Yummy. I believe you. So, I gotta rescue the golden crab because I can't beat the game without doing that. And to do that, I'm just gonna fill the bucket up with water. That's all we see of the bucket. It's a useful <laughs> item casually, but I don't need any more water. I think you can just grab some water right next to that puddle there. You'd think. <laughs> but no, you can only gather water from the RNG droplets. <laughs> This game definitely has an interesting playstyle to it. How do you mean? Well, like, uh, most uh, most games in this kind of style are like sort of a 2D scroll or 3D scrollers, whereas this one is kind of have a lot, uh, has another dimension to it. Yeah, it's like 2.5D. 2.5D is, yeah. You can switch planes, and funny stuff happens occasionally when you do that. I'll point out the one time that that's relevant <laughs> okay. later in the run. Yeah, get, used, get used to this song if anyone's listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the character design of this game kind of reminds me of Adventure Island. Alright. So here's what's this guy, Ark. He's gonna operate the crank for us. We can, this is an amazing time for donations, like just this game in general. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we have $20 from iNiffy. Here's $20, you can have it. Maybe it'll come in useful. And we have $5 from Semjax. Had to give another donation for another classic. Tomba 2 is the bomb. So coming up is the boomerang. We could skip it, the one thing in the game you can actually skip. But we're not going to because I like the boomerang. <laughs> boomerang hype? Hype? So there goes the crab basket. We need to get the crab basket to get crabs. So this is the case where getting crabs is a good thing? Yeah. 
That jump's kind of tricky because you can't see where you're jumping because it's blocked by the event tag that pops up. All right, the gatekeeper crab, we got him. <laughs> <laughs> when I do attempts of this game, it's like 90% Fisherman Village for the entire like duration of the stream. All right, so that uh, it's that feather. What the, what it does is it let me it lets me warp to um, certain places that I've been. Like it lets me warp to uh, the save points of each area I visit. And that feather in particular, um, it looked like I went out of my way to get it, but due to the event tag popping up, it actually cost no time because you can't enter doors while there's event text up on the screen. So yeah, you get it. Again, another long cutscene. Donation Central. <laughs> you guys have some weird mechanisms. Hey, he's got a vision. That's all I want to say. <laughs> I've never seen crabs used that way. Whoa! And you won't ever again. That is the that is the end of the crab section of the run. Rip crabs. They drop that gimmick real hard. <laughs> so it's still a good time for donations? Yes. Awesome. Well, we have $5 <laughs> from Pelvis. Hey, Caveman, I know you wanted to get world record today, but I don't think that's possible without Uno by your side. Good luck on the run, man. And $50 from Luigi Dog. So glad to see Tomba 2 being run this year. It only makes sense to make my first official GDQ donation during one of my childhood favorites. You guys are all doing such a great job for a great cause, and I wish you luck in your run, Caveman. Yes! <laughs> fast pants. They make you go fast. Very ideal item for the speedrun. I want one now. <laughs> so, the large underground mine. You saw the little red blob guy there. We gotta get the ice boomerang and uncap them. They're called cappers. I like to call them cappers because it's funny. Oh yeah, there's the ice boomerang. And it's like the boomerang, only ice. It freezes stuff. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. Sitting inside the lava. Yeah, that's how you know it's really cold. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise it just get demolished. A little too fast there. That's not your fault. It isn't actually. Funny you should mention that. I really have no control over the boost jumps at all. We In have. fact, I can't even tell you how precise they are. I've been given any number of frames by various people. It's pretty convenient that they auto-equip the weapon or equipment that you pick up. Oh yeah, I would hate to actually like have to put the pants on. <laughs> no. I mean... Alright, rip, rip safety, Apple. <laughs> I gotta go. I mean, I could always wear the pants. Immediately landed inside a pair of pants. Right. I guess I'm wearing them now. <laughs> I hope I don't die here. <laughs> We have $10 from Zarganian, and he says he's got to give some money for his bro Chibi on the couch right now and get him some birthday hype. Hey, thanks, Zarkanian. So yeah, a little death warp here to take us back to the beginning and get that first capper we jumped over. Didn't get the triple jump that time. I like to jump on that little plunger and do a boost jump off of that. And it doesn't really waste any time if I don't get it, but it looks really cool. All right, so another cutscene. This time we gotta talk to Grand. And a big bug comes out of her hair to talk to him for us. <laughs> Tomba himself is mute. Fortunately, he has a bug friend that lives in his hair. Zippo. Wasn't in the first game, I don't think. No, he wasn't. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to uh, the second part of the large underground mine, which is this 3D section. And there's not a lot 
like really going on because obviously you can't jump or boost jump or anything like that. But the one important thing is when you uh, like go to talk to an NPC to that activate a cutscene, there'll be like when you do that, Tomba will walk to a default position to start the dialogue. So you want to start the um, you want to start the conversation as close to that point as possible. Also, the sand is RNG and it's being really nice. You can you can just hang out all day under there with the sand and it's not great really for a speedrun. <laughs> I think you need more sand. No, you only need three. Three scoops, rules of three. <laughs> yeah, that was actually pretty generous. Yeah. yeah. It did seem like it. You don't wanna know what it lo what bad sand looks like. It's pretty rough. There's bad sand? Also, that seems like a really small hole that you can just easily walk over. I mean, you'd think, but... It does. You can't jump in this mode, yeah. so you'd just be stuck down there. Oh, yeah. The... Or just, like, walk over it. It's just like a small pothole. Now, see, that that would be nice. A great discovery, the sand skip. <laughs> we have $20 from Eoin. Tombi, Tombi Squirrel Suit Hype. Donating another five dollars if the announcer can pronounce my name right. Hopefully, I was close. Oh, yeah, this accepted. game is called Tombi with an I. No, Eoin, the donator. But I pronounced both of you wrong. Forgive me. I prefer Tomba. It makes him sound more masculine. <laughs> Does. I mean, he has pink hair, so he is a true man. My name is Tumba the Mighty. He doesn't actually talk though, so he would never say that in any situation. He makes grunts. <laughs> That's kind of like talking. He could pretend he does. I have fast pants. We get turbo pants later. Now you're just making me excited. Yeah, I don't think you're ready for that. I don't think I am. I think I need some time to prepare my body. Can we just keep Charles in the mud lump and? Just move on. We can't beat the game without freeing <laughs> Charles from the mudlock. He is Man, very aw. integral to this adventure. That's we never see him again. Uh, there's a little like a fetch quest chain with Charles the monkey and his fancy pants, <laughs> but we don't do any of that at all. So he's just like, <laughs> basically the first quest is we have to feed him a banana, but <laughs> we don't do that. So he just stays starving around in some random house for the duration of the game. That sounds like what you gotta do in the first one. He just like never learns how to feed himself, I guess. Charles is just the worst, really. <laughs> so, we're gonna fly to the trolley entrance, because that's where the hammer is. We need to find the hammer, is what's going on right now. But I already know where the hammer is, so that significantly, you know, shortens the length of the search. I think I'm still on one health. Oh wait, no, I death warped, good. See that? Those purple fruits are always really enticing to get. They're there when I need them. This is like my favorite song now. Yeah, I know. It just keeps going, doesn't it? It's the gift that keeps on giving. I hate, always hated this part of the game. Thankfully, this song peters out halfway through the run, so it, it's not just going to be constantly playing all the time, just for half of the time, so... That guy makes a great entrance. He's in a hurry. $35 from Remington. Tomba 2 was one of my favorite games as a kid. I look forward to seeing you shatter my childhood accomplishments in an hour and a half. Well, don't you wait, donator. Here he comes. <laughs> That's why we're here. Another death warp to get back to the beginning of the, uh, the area. I break the plunger from that side because it's faster to do so. Because if you break it from the left, Tumba will walk to where I was just standing at the right. So, like I said, just get there. Like, once you do the action so Tomba doesn't walk around. Hopefully I don't demonstrate what it looks like if you do something like that wrong. I hope everything just goes real smooth. Five dollars from Owen. You tried, announcer. It's pronounced Owen. Irish is weird. We don't want the banana. It would actually mess up my menu. But that's the banana we would feed to Charles if we were so inclined. That activates a quest too, doesn't it? Yeah. Cool little jump there I did. 
into another cutscene. There's actually no dialogue during this cutscene, I'm just pre-mashing for when it starts. There it is. We got it. So all of these cutscenes are 100% like, this is as fast as you can go. You can't just press start and skip them. If you do that, you just pause the game and prolong it. So I want to avoid that. So I just mash a lot. It's kind of an endurance test, really. Gran is just a buffoon. He didn't Oops. notice dropping those huge girders. He <laughs> felt like he's so muscular, he just felt no change in his weight. <laughs> and Tombo just proceeded to put him in his pants. Well, yeah, I got fast pants. Never doubt the powers of weapon space. All right. So, oh, a little bit of gameplay there. Another big cutscene coming up. <laughs> $10 from Brendan3, love Tomba 2. I never fully beat it as a kid and just managed to beat it for the first time a couple of years ago. You've made my workday so much better. Oh, someone else has a birthday today. What are the odds? <laughs> right? So we were expecting Tabby, which is my girlfriend to be in that minecart. She wasn't. And thus begins the plot. <laughs> <laughs> the evil pigs have returned and they stole my girlfriend who wasn't in the first game. How they knew she was at, like, they did their research is all I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, there's the final evil pig. Ignore the fact that he is a ball of light. He is in fact a pig. We won't see him again for quite some time. But we did get the pig bag. And what the pig bags do is they let us beat the evil pigs and remove the curse from the land. And we need all of them. I still think it's a coin purse. <laughs> it kind of looks like a coin purse, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it does. It's kind of coincidental how, like, in most games, pigs are evil. Such as? Well, Diddy Kong Racing, Zelda, Mother. Thank you for the list of evil pigs in video games. You're welcome. And this is just an example. Angry Birds. Yeah. Angry Birds, yeah. <laughs> Alright, that was good. Pigs are bad. So we're in the Kujara, Kujara Ranch now. This is actually a pretty fun part of the game. This is when we get the uh, the flying squirrel suit that everyone remembers as a the kid. The best suit ever. It's pretty good. Is that Santa Claus? Yeah, that's Santa Claus. Don't nice. worry, we'll talk to him later. You need to talk to Ta you need to save Santa to beat the game. It's one hundred percent required. Dude, how come I never saw this Christmas special as a kid? It's a, it's a rare game, I guess. <laughs> really. Three hundred. I thought it was like sixty. Well, like new, I guess. All right, well, I might have to sell the game after this run. <laughs> yeah, I think this and the first one, like, kind of evened out in price now. The first one used to be, like, $80. But, yeah, it is a rare game. Um, this was developed by Whoopi Camp, which only made this game and uh, Tumble 1. Then they kind of disbanded, which was really unfortunate. So we got the yeah, potato there. Suit. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, hello. That guy came for a ride. You gotta have pick over. Yeah, that's necessary. Space pig. <laughs> the greatest trick. Since when did Super Mario Brothers U get here? Good joke. I didn't want to get hit by that bird, so I'm gonna have to get health, because I'm gonna do some damage boosts soon. And since I only have four health, it's kind of a Oh, uh, this is just going all crazy. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We're just gonna go. Oh, God, I thought 
this now. So confirmed, Santa's number one helper is a squirrel. I would really prefer if you would be quiet. <laughs> but yes, you are correct. $10 from Dracu. The Tom B2 was my favorite childhood game, so I just had to donate for the first time. Thank you so much for the run and good luck. So we got the fire hammer now. Now we can, it's basically just the hammer, but with fire. Similar to the boomerang and the ice boomerang. So there goes Santa on his pig broom, as is tradition. Suit is so broken. It's probably like a too so early in the game. Oh, there's their fruit. And we gotta get that mountain peach to feed the Kujara. Which are these big birds. Alright, so here, big ice pig. Damage boost through them. <laughs> Save a little bit of time. Do it twice. Normally, once you uh, unfreeze the big pigs, they're just, like the little pigs are just flashing blue and they won't move, and you have to wait for them to get past. So I just damage boost through them to save some time. It's a little tricky. You don't have a huge window to do it, and like you can take damage while climbing on the ladder. And since again, only have four health, it's kind of a problem. But I get full health on the like immediately next screen, so it's not too bad. hero pose there going on the elevator. So the one downside to the squirrel suit is you don't, like, when you glide, you don't carry your boost jump momentum through. Otherwise, it'd be, like, amazing. Like, it'd just be the suit. I mean, I have it on anyway until I have to, until I get the pig suit, because it, it would take, it would, like, waste more time if I uh, took it off. But, you know, it's, it could be more broken. All right, so you'll see that bird frozen in that ice. We gotta get him. We gotta put him on his head for safekeeping. Kind of a precise jump to do that. You gotta flap twice. Where is this guy going? I did not like that. This is just all sorts of sloppy. <laughs> Yeah, the controls can be kind of slippery sometimes. And trying to change planes, you have to be like in a certain spot, otherwise it just won't let you uh, change planes. Thankfully, there's no ice physics in the icy area. Otherwise, <laughs> it would just... I should have I should have omitted saying that, because then I could have just blamed it on the ice physics that don't exist, and everyone would have believed me. Another big cutscene coming up. Great time for donations. Well, we have one dollar from Turo. He doesn't have much, but those beautiful mustaches demanded me to donate. Hey, kid. It is nice. Yeah, make sure to donate to kill the animals during this cutscene. Let's see why. <laughs> So, the problem is we got a big rock in our way. What is the only solution to get that big rock out of our way? Well, of course, static electricity. <laughs> there they go, our intrepid feathered friends. Couldn't beat the game without them. 
They also are a very fashionable hat. $10 from Bucifer didn't get my red two times. <laughs> third time, oh, didn't get my donation red third times, donation admitted. Third time, lucky I hope. Let it be the reader's choice. Lovely voice, a wink. Thank you, sir. This game is so cruel. Hey, get your laugh track ready. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that quest is complete. We blew up some birds. They're okay though. They're hardy creatures. So that's Kujara Ranch done. Now we're gonna go on to the Donglin Forest, which is filled with spooky ghosts. There's three orange ghosts flying around here, and I need to get all three of them, and they will summon the, the like the spirit's eye guardian dude. Didn't beat the cocoon. I'm just dethawing him for later. dollars from blue digital dragon hello everyone blue digital dragon here that one guy who can't stream yet which leads me to my first question i plan to start running a game on gamecube but not sure which capture card or other equipment is needed any suggestions what? any suggestions on a gamecube capture card good old dazzle never lets you down i mean aver media capture cards all the way sgdq <laughs> i love this part yeah this is modern art in a nutshell Perfect. Okay. I'm, we need the blue key. How else would you get it? <laughs> we need to show our love and appreciation of the color blue to this talented artist. So those ghosts I uh, iced are still they're still uh, not on fire. So that's good. Come on, jeez. Are those platforms onions? They're donglins, duh. It's the Donglin Forest. Haven't you ever heard of donglins before? That's what they are. $35 from Nilsen. Thank you, Caveman, for that comment. The chat thanks you. <laughs> it's, it's Mega Gengar, dude. He's come back. For revenge. Aw. Oh. There's a glitch there where if you hit this boss and catch a snow firefly at the same time, you will sink through the floor forever. It's a pretty good glitch. <laughs> I would have liked to show it off, but sadly the snow firefly refused to cooperate. $50 from Anonymous. Here's $50 for the most awkward moment I've ever seen on stream. Had me laughing uncomfortable bliss for 10 minutes. Glad you enjoyed it. So, you can skip this next cutscene by becoming a ghost, but then you're just at, uh, stuck on the other side as a ghost, so it's not really that useful. You can eat a sandwich, to cure yourself of being a ghost. 
but then we'd have to go get a sandwich. Is that all it takes? Yeah. You've eaten sandwiches before, right? You yeah. feel a little more solid after it, each bite. <laughs> yeah, this cutscene serves real, no, really no purpose other than showing us that the grapple exists and how to use it. But yeah, you'd just be you'd just be hanging out here if you were a ghost, because you can't eat the uh, the neutral fruit. So then you'd just be stuck as a crying ghost. It's not a real great situation to be in, really. Check out that cool trick. <laughs> oh, hit the skeleton instead. Good. That's what I was aiming for. So now we have the grapple. The grapple's pretty busted. But like most things in this game, in no way that helps the speedrun. So here comes the turbo pants. The third and final upgrade to our pants. Maximum speed. Nice. Five dollars from Bug. This is the game where you store items by eating them, isn't it? I loved this game. Thanks, so, Bug. Fun thing, we haven't actually been to the deep forest yet, but we can teleport there anyway. I am going to accept it. <laughs> I will allow it. <laughs> Thank you, game. Were you supposed to have been there? Not really, no. I mean, it's the next place to go to, but like, it just gives me the warp point by uh, going to the room after the little, the green guy with the grapple cutscene room. I used to, like, for the longest time I didn't know that that was a thing, so I actually climbed the ladder and got here so I could get the warp point. Turns out I didn't have to do that. <laughs> this is the only place you can do that? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, technically, once you go to uh, the Kujara Ranch Summit, you get the, the access to the, like, the shed where you have to wash the Kujara. Mm -hmm. But there's really no point to ever teleport there. Unless you're a Kujara washing enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> This is a fun mini game though, but. Okay, really we're going for a ride. <laughs> oh! That wasn't good. That wasn't. That was even worse. Come on, Alps. Alright, we're just gonna fly. Yeah, this good. is an example where the collision detection could be really stubborn. We had to like set all those seesaws down to open a gate here. You can hear it kind of opening. That's what opening sounds like. If I didn't do that, there'd just be a wall in my way, and that's not good. I got this potato bug skip. Nice. <laughs> $3 dollars from Franker Z12. Your commentary is great, caveman. Keep it up. I think you're not supposed to be able to do that. Do what? Why? You can do that. Just press X. Everything I do in this game is 100% intended. I wish it was not the bad case, but it's a pretty rock-solid game. I've, uh, I've issued an open challenge to any aspiring game breaker to try and do something with this game. Did you hear that, PJ? He's busy playing I mean, like, you can break the game. Like, I've done, like, a lot of... Like I said, there's a glitch where you can just sink through the floor for a bit. But that nothing happens. You just you're just in the floor, and then you just walk to the next screen, and it's all normal. I've also gotten myself in a wall, and uh, there was just another wall inside the wall. So that was that was a pretty that was a pretty good discovery. And the sequence of events is really rock solid. Like even if you could sequence break something, the way the game works, like say I skip a pig bag. Oh boy, I still need the pig bag. I still need to go back and get it. So. Pretty solid game. Which is nice. I mean, it's cool to have a run based fully on optimization. But it would also help to take the edge off these cutscenes. <coughs> oh, this, uh, this next world, Circus Town, 
is nothing but talking around. Like walking and talking. There's no action whatsoever. So. So donations? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I would love to read them if they were here. You guys gotta send more in. I don't sleep. Come on, guys, wake up. This town will wake you up. <laughs> yeah. Give you nightmares, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> There's no dialogue in this cussing. Just getting, oh, just, huh? just getting warmed up, man. <laughs> it's so sad they couldn't get There it is. Here. Got it. Oh. Nailed it. Easy every time. <laughs> exactly. Come on, ball. Come on, ball. Come on, ball. You can do it. $20 from Joseph. I love watching speedruns as much as I love hearing announcers struggle with difficult names. With that in mind, try pronouncing these Wisconsin cities. Oh, God. Um, it's pretty creative. Wanago, uh, Okamunuk Walk, uh, Menemone Falls, Wanaku, Wapoon. Nailed it. Thank you. We can't actually understand what this pig is saying, but we have the cog, and cogs are a universal language, so he instantly understands that I need him to pull the crank. Later on, we get the pig suit, and that will let us speak the language of the pigs. It does other things, but that's why we need to get it. Gives you a big floaty jump and a butt bounce attack. It's also very silly looking. Sadly, it replaces the squirrel suit for the duration of the run. Oh. So. Yeah, that's why I hate it. Yeah. Kind of tiny, you think that's gonna fit? A little stretch. <laughs> there we go. Now we're rocking. Oh. <laughs> wow. Look at that butt. Wow. <laughs> the extra cushion for the butt bounce attack. Otherwise, you take fall damage or something. $15 from Inbred. I've been watching these for a long time now, and it's about time to donate. I'm planning on speedrunning Monster Hunter for you. Yes, I'm crazy. I'll let the runner choose what the money goes for. His choices are kill the animals and kill the animals. <laughs> All right. Those weren't Solid my choices, choices, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. We have $100 from Aniti, a donation for a great cause. Without doctors, we would not be able to be alive to watch SGDQ. Keep up the good plays. Oh, come on. Here we go. <laughs> $10 from Cyberbot. I suppose I could oblige the donation reading here. Come on, people. All right, so the clown pig. This guy can... We have to... He's gonna fall off the tightrope and we have to catch him with this conveniently placed pillow. This guy can just hang out up there all day if he wants. And the controls are just garbage. Oh, here we go. Nope, okay. Gotta get in position. He's being re <laughs> There we go, nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> that was really silly. <laughs> I should've, he should've just fell, but you know what, I will. <laughs> I will allow it. <laughs> $35 from Adele Heed. Did somebody say difficult names? Because I feel like donating.
voice acting, uh, the voice acting is pretty special. The voice so. acting is among the best in the PlayStation library. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them are done by just one dude, really. <laughs> it's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, he did a lot of the female characters, too. They actually had female voice actors, too. I guess they were sick that day. Hmm. $10 from Kitty Katie. Blue glass, you always brighten my day. When I see you doing your run or giving support to others, keep up the good work. Bye. <laughs> <coughs> yep, still in, uh, still in Circus Town here. Some more talking to do. So, this was initially supposed to be a Toma 1 versus 2 bid war. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to make small talk, really. It's cool that I get to play the game. Honestly, I think I like this one a little more than the first one. Dude. Side quests are a lot more interesting. Dude, the minecart one is so good. Oh my god. Yeah. That might be better than Go Go Kart, though. <laughs> but then, if that's not enough, you have 20 rounds of Wash the Kujara. Oh, yeah. Best part. $30 from Pat in the Hat. Hey, you guys. Awesome marathon so far. This is my third donation of many to come. Just wanted to let you know that I appreciate all the good work you're doing. You guys rock. All right, here it comes. We got the peon grass. What is a peon? It is a pink flying elephant that we are going to use. Just <laughs> to get ready for that. Always new and exciting things in the wild world of Toma 2. He also has a party hat on, I'll point that out. I'm guessing you can't just jump down those ladders. Oh, if only. Yeah, like Tonner is, he can't jump. He's in 3D mode. He like his he'll knee, his knees will shatter if he jumps. Like yeah. There it is, the payon. Oh my. <laughs> Not much of a flying payon. If that's what it looks like flying, I would hate to see what it looks like walking. It's just a speed machine. <laughs> Jumps a little bit. That's kind of like flying. You could use some fast pants. Yeah. Some turbo pants. $20 from Akaris 3. Really enjoying the run, Caveman. And happy birthday to Drake. It must be great to be at SGDQ on the couch for your birthday. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get there eventually. Yeah. This is the strat. Can't go faster than this. <laughs> will he eat the grass if he catches up to you? He will absolutely eat the grass. Oh my god. <laughs> then you have to go get more and do this all over again. Oh my god. Also, if you go too far ahead, he will just stop. So I have to stay real close to him. Always in danger of getting the grass eaten. Really keeps you on, t on your toes. <laughs> High impact gaming is what this is. All right, get right here where the cutscene starts. Look at that optimization. Fifty dollars from Kyle. You asked for more donations, so here's a donation. Keep up the great runs for a great cause. Thank you, Kyle. We should just ask more to ask for donations more often. You should. <laughs> Guys, you should donate more. Yeah. You put that robot on there really fast. Yeah. See. <laughs> They made sure to put the camera away from where the rope would be, so you couldn't tell just how much of an expert rope tire this guy was. Yeah. They didn't want to give away their secrets. Come on, Zippo. Here we go, we got a book. <laughs> the carpenter book. There goes the pig, never to be seen again. So they had a carpenter book stashed away in some... Well, yeah, they didn't. <laughs> that must be where their rope tying secrets are, are hidden. I mean, 
Look, if you had a well that you could seal with a big wooden slab, or a, like a stone slab, you'd put a lot of stuff down there. I guess, They were probably just running out of ideas, just living on the adrenaline of having a secret well to put things. They're like, throw the carpenter book in there. All right, yeah. So we needed that so we could break this wooden statue of a clown. <laughs> $10 from Harris Foster, the GDQ events have given me something to smile about during very rough times in my life. And this year's SGDQ is no different. That being said, please stop having these marathons and I think my life will be a lot less rough. Just kidding. Love the work of the speedrunning community. Alright, so now the game begins. Some 40 minutes in, Water Temple's coming. <laughs> this is where the fun is. Like, it's the best part of the game. Get ready, yeah. There's a boss rush, there's... Water Temple, that's it, that's the rest of the game. But oh boy, just you wait. You sold me at Water Temple. So the first minute of Water Temple is really scary because I can drown. Eventually I learn how to swim, so that becomes less of a concern immediately. All right, gotta get the circle gear. Okay, here we go. Circle gear. Yep. All right. I don't know how it works. $50 from Panda. Props to the mustache man. Okay, we got the crystal. So now we're gonna go over here and get it turned into a crystal slab. And that will unlock the secrets of swimming for us. We gotta talk to a mermaid first, but one step at a time. This guy has really good voice acting. I'm not gonna let you listen to it, I'm just gonna point it out so you can... <laughs> Find out for yourself, get here, and eagerly await this guy's voice acting. <clears throat> I like how the quest text doesn't quite feel, like, fit on the screen. <laughs> is it always like that, or is it just a TV? Yeah, it's always like that. <laughs> $100 from Prop Goat. I always love watching these events at work. Glad to donate to a good cause. Thanks all, and put the money towards whatever the announcer wa wants. Thank you, Prop Goat. All right, so I didn't drown, which is nice. So, everything's cool. We're gonna get the swimming pig suit now. Pigs renowned for their swimming ability. First, we gotta save the mermaid. This next room is like the perfect, it's just, <laughs> it perfectly describes what running this game is. All right, so I'll break it down. All right, so we get into the door. One step, cutscene. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so you'll notice there's that hole in the tank. Fortunately, we have the crystal panel to seal it up. $200 from Thomas E. No comment. Thank you, Thomas. Bits like a glove. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get ready, get ready, get ready. Three steps, cutscene. <laughs> You ready? It gets better than that. Here it comes. <laughs> Nailed it. That is this game in a nutshell. Does every single cutscene in the game have this same music? Oh god, you weren't here for the first half of the run. <laughs> yeah. The answer is no. So changing to blue just allows you to swim. Yeah, blue equals swimming. So it, you'd think if I put the fast pants back on instead of the turbo pants, I wouldn't even have to get this. All right, so the swimming pig suit is pretty powerful. It, is, it has all the powers of the pig suit, plus it can swim. $10 from Hans, that plead for donations worked, Tomba 2, a game I played way too much when I was young. Keep up the good mood, AGDQ makes two weeks of the year really stand out for me. Just as a reminder, this is SGDQ, but AGDQ will be awesome as well in January. That was a really good room. Got another cutscene though. We had to make special notice to look at that hole in the wall. Yep. It gave us a quest. All right, so now we got our first evil pig. This is like, these are pretty interesting. So the, the attacks that the pigs will do, they're fully manipulatable. So I always know what they'll do. And all the evil pigs, they follow the same pattern. It's all based on what I do. But 
where they spawn to do those actions, that is random. So... <laughs> The first, all the evil pigs, the first things they'll do, their first two actions, they will use their spells every single time. And if you get them, if you like, get them in the pig bag, the first two throws, they will then do nothing. They will just laugh at you. So that's what you want. You want the perfect three. Ice pig is actually, despite having an attack that does no damage, he's one of the harder pigs in the speed run because you don't have any convenient way to aim the bag because you grab him midair. Like all the other all the other pigs, I have like setups where I land first so I can aim. Not so with the old old ice pig. Just gotta eyeball it, and that was really bad, but it worked. All right, good old hitboxes. So one two, he did his little snowball spell. Next one, he's just gonna laugh. Freebie. That'll work. All right. Nice. Very good. That is where a bulk of the time comes from, not being, not having bad pigs. So, regardless of how the rest of the run is going, not that it's going horribly or anything, but Ice Pig, all right. Twenty dollars from Ben Thank Eight. You, <laughs> Third marathon watched, first time donator. Keep up the great work, everyone. This is going to killing the animals. And the ice melts. Yeah, he, he lifted the ice curse. It doesn't melt, it disappears. Well, it was magic snow, it wasn't there to begin And $50 from Leo8. Running Tomba forced me to donate. Thanks for stealing my money. Kappa, <laughs> runner's choice. Yeah, so in order for the pig doors to appear, you have to get the pig bag first, otherwise it just never shows up. Then you just have to know where it's at. And it's not always in the area. I'm back here. It's never in the area where uh, it's cursed. There you go. Death Warp there. Put me back to the beginning of the stage. What is that? <laughs> yeah. So right now what I'm doing is I'm collecting pieces of a, of a, of a harp because the Mermaid needs a harp. I don't know that yet, but I, you know, I've played this game before. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I thought it was just hanging out. Yeah. Well, I was about to say that it's really easy to boost jump in the water. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. Look at that speed. The power so of the turbo pigs jump like that. <laughs> Have you never seen a pig before, Blue Glass? Pig hover. Yeah. <laughs> They're nuts. I'm Make sure that booty has something to do with it. Yeah, look at that. It's its own personal flotation device. <laughs> hey, I just realized the pig pot was flying. There you go. The pigs can fly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of booty, we have a $10 donation from Snabel15. Yar, vast me mateys, so none of me fellow pirates gets the scurvy here. Be some shiny booty for ye doctors without broadsides. It's all for yar har har. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 comment. Thank you. Okay, so now we gotta go back to the beginning of the stage yet again because talking to that mermaid triggered a, another harp piece to spawn. It's not there prior to that, so I actually have to do that. I used the death warp here, but then I realized that that is ridiculous. So I just do this, which is like five. What is that? <laughs> which is just. <laughs> Way faster. All right. Bounce off that guy using our powerful belt. Yeah, this heart piece wouldn't be here otherwise. Cool. We didn't get sniped by that log. That means we're slow is what that means. <laughs> Normally you get hit by the log. This a waterfall didn't troll you that time. Yeah, is that a, just a loading zone? Yep. There, we evened it out, we got hit by that log.
$4.20 from two strains. I want to hear more of the guy in the green sweatshirt on the couch. Please let him talk more. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> nice mustache. Thank you. <laughs> been, been getting that a lot recently. So the mermaid song, woke up with a big fish, and the big fish is gonna, oh, just watch. Magic's gonna happen. First, we must communicate with the fish. <laughs> We've come to an agreement. <laughs> there he goes. $20 from Wabajack. Love Tomba and anytime it gets shown to more people. So big fancy room came out of the waterfall. You'd think it'd be like some kind of gnarly temple in here. No, it's just a room. Got some eggs in there. They're pretty good. Some dude just hanging out here. Yeah, he's been in there for a while. Well, that's a mystery reflector. Any observant viewers will recall that we got one of those earlier on to Kujara Ranch. Though fortunately we don't have to backtrack to that. We came prepared. Ten dollars from Skitzer. Used to play Tomb Tombi 2 a ton when I was younger. Easily one of my favorite games. Mysterious door. Of course, a pig bag. <laughs> so now we have all the pig bags. So this is boss rush mode right now. We're just gonna go around traveling the world, setting wrongs right, hero stuff. Nice booty. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you might out of the gutter. That is a finely toned spirit. Some more wings and a free lunch. The lunch will fully heal us if we happen to take that much damage. In the unlikely event that that should happen. <laughs> so this is Water Pig. Water Pig is actually pretty tough. Also, another fun fact, Water Pig is supposed to be a woman, dude voicing her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They, they even specifically state in the game that Water Pig is a girl. Didn't, you know, didn't matter though. All other versions of the game, totally a chick voicing this character. Not so in the good old USA. $35 from Placebo. I think the name on the stream is wrong. This game is definitely called Cutscene Simulator. Put this, towards, <laughs> put this towards the choice of whoever gives Caveman a high five first. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Sorry. You cost me a tuck, uh, you cost me a, like a cutscene box. You better donate for something pretty good. Make sure you guys are getting those donations in. All of the donations go to Doctors Without Borders. The water pig, my little setup is I throw over I throw her when the bag is on the ground. And it works. Alright. Now unique to Water Pig is after the first two throws, the arena changes. You can actually go hang out in that waterfall and just you'll you'll take a lot of damage, but you can just hang out in there. It's pretty fun. <laughs> but first we have to beat the trampoline boss. Oh, I did that because occasionally she'll spawn like way up in the air and you gotta use the trampoline to get her. But we didn't have to do that, so we just had a blast hopping around on the trampoline. I love all the effort they put in all this terrain and the only oh, use, yeah. all like, they, use, like one corner of it. They all have really <laughs> elaborate arenas that you do not see at all. Yeah. So that's uh, two for two on the perfect threes. 
though we're doing pretty well on the evil pigs, which is nice. That's what you want to see. So we uh, brighter. We cleaned it up. Yeah. We removed the curse of better music from Water Temple. So now, <laughs> now it is cleansed with the worst music. So we're going on to Ghost Pig now. Flyway. So since you have all the pig bags, does that mean you just fight, uh, fight all the bosses now at once? Yep, boss rush mode. Only way to do it. Excellent, we didn't die. Nice. <laughs> There's some kind of hint as to where these doors are. Yes, but getting the hints is among the hardest things to do in the game. All the, oddly enough, all the doors are located in places you would naturally go to. Like that door was just located on like on a like on a walkway. Like you would just walk there every now and then. But to get the uh, to get the actual hints as to where the pig bags are located or the doors rather, it is you have to get these little seeds in the minecart mini game which is among the hardest things to do in mm -hmm. the game. Yeah, minecart is pretty awful. <laughs> it would actually take you longer t to traverse the entire length of the game, searching for the doors, than it would for you to actually, like, get the seeds out of the minecart. So Ghost Pig is interesting because he spawns above a the bottomless pit, so that makes it really fun. Fifty dollars from Stoic Squirrel. I was going to hold my money until oh, later bad. in the marathon, but I have yeah. to give a shout out to that awesome Ooh. stash. So now he's gonna do his little dash attack. Watch this, this is some nonsense. Oh, the setup's oh. wrong. The setup's wrong because he's over there, good. Excellent. There you go, he's uh, back on the bottomless pit. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, oh. Huh. oh, he's gonna laugh at me now. Okay, this is just going great. Ghost Pig, the easiest evil pig to beat. Nice. See, the setup works. <laughs> ah, the courtesy laugh. Well, that was a bit of a fiasco, but it was funny, so it all worked out. In the first game, we only had to throw them in the bag once and they were caught, so it made the fights really, really fast. Yeah. I wish you could do that. That'd, be really, <laughs> that'd just be great. Yeah. Although, actually, getting them in the bag is a bit harder at home. Yeah, they're a bit more wily. Oh, it became brighter. Yeah, yep. actually, the water is swimmable now. Um, oh. Even if you have the pig suit, you can't swim in the cursed water, which is real convenient because we need to do that to get the flame pig. So we're gonna use the Donglin Bell instead of uh, a magic wing because the Donglin Bell just takes us right above where Flame Pig is. Also, that death warp I took earlier, put that blue apple back there, so I just get all my health back. Look at that, the strats. Nice. I foresaw that I would get demolished by Ghost Pig. Flame Pig. Flame Pig looks really cool when he goes well. He looks really bad when he doesn't, because as you'll see, there's a volcano in the center, and the pig bag will rotate around it, and you cannot throw through the volcano. Ooh. So sometimes he'll just be like, oh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Can't hit me. So, it all depends on this first spawn. If he spawns really high and I can't actually reach him, that is a bit of a problem. So I'd like him to not do that, and it'll just look really snazzy. Off there. <laughs> it's interesting how like the boss pigs are located in different terrain that you expect them to be. 
There we go. We got snazzy mode activated. From downtown. $15 from Butt Scratcher. Amazing work as usual, making the world a better place with the power of speedrunning obscure games. Also, donation nice. reader for seeing us something beautiful. So yeah, real snazzy looking okay. boss. Good old, good old ghost pig though, he's always there when I need a piece. Yeah. <laughs> Does ghost pig usually give you trouble? No. <laughs> He's pretty easy. Oh my god, I'm dizzy. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That was quite dramatic. Look at that menu, so good. It's because I avoided the banana earlier. The strats. So now we're going on to fight Earth Pig. Earth Pig is really, really strong. He's, uh, despite being the fattest of the evil pigs, he's also coincidentally the fastest. So I actually have to take off the swimming pig suit because the jump is too slow to actually hit him. Oh, that's fun. Let me get this. Nope. I want to do, to do a butt bounce off this pig. All right, well, we'll just do this instead. It would have looked really cool if I did it, trust me. Oh, that's a <laughs> straight up jump. I'll check, if you like that, check this out. Beautiful. Nice. <laughs> So right at the start of the fight, I'm going to equip the flame row, which is, one, it gives me a normal jump, so I can actually hit Earth Pig, which is pretty important. And I, uh, I routed it so that I equipped the flame row, because that's the first robe I need once I get into the, uh, the end sequence. $50 from Travis. Unskippable cutscenes. Gotta love them. Put this to the runner's choice for all the button mashing during the cutscenes. The game lagging. <laughs> wow. That's just the game, man. That's, uh, yeah. Funny, though, Lovely. Like his frame rate slower than the yeah, yeah, that's right, man. It's like, what? Like, you <laughs> can be so big. You can literally see every single frame of his animation. <laughs> Don't make fun of Earth Pig. He, he wasn't born that way. Oh, that's too high. Sometimes he'll just spawn too high. Excellent. That was a hitbox, all right. Uh, <laughs> huh. All right, then. Nice going. I thought he got caught in there for a second, and yeah. it just glitched. I'm not sure how he can even fit in that bag. Yeah. Hey, uh, I think he's going to dash again. Oh, he's going to do a spell. I was wrong. Okay, that's a problem. Oh, he's laughing at me. Excellent. <laughs> Great. I have a setup for this boss. <laughs> it works every time, except for now. Oh, he's gonna dash it. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> the hitboxes. They're pretty good. Yeah, see, it worked that time. Oh. $39.99 from Steven. 
Thank you for raising so much for a good cause. Shout outs to Ambanzies. I love his urns. So now we have all the pig robes, and so the evil pig, the final evil pig, is going to show himself. So whereas all the other evil pigs had the elemental gimmick, his distinction is that he's the final one. <laughs> Curse is lifted. <laughs> All right then. I think they were better off as pigs. I think so too. <laughs> they definitely had more character. Yeah. All right, we conveniently spawn inside a bird, so we got a menu real quick, so we don't get hit by that bird. Five dollars from Caleb. Question for the reader. Does my total amount donated count towards prizes or is it based on individual donation amounts? Uh, well, Caleb, your total amount donated goes towards the grand prize entering you into that. Um, but for specific prizes during each, uh, for different, for different games, um, that's only during their blocks. Oh, you want to see something funny? Huh. All right, then. <laughs> yeah, a little magic trick. Nothing on my sleeve. I don't know how they're candy, you just got that rope. Game must really not like zipping, because I could see that. Yeah, you could see that. Oh yeah, if you get this is uh <laughs> this is the entrance to the to the final pig's um and to the final pig's boss room. I tried to fly up in there, like I was expecting that. You know, eventually the texture stops if you get high enough. Invisible walls. Yeah. <laughs> just as a reminder for those of you who might just be tuning in with us, this is Summer Games Done Quick 2014. It is hosted by Speed Demos Archive and Speed Run Live. Um, they're two of the biggest speedrunning groups online. And we are raising money for Doctors Without Borders, um, which is an international medical humanitarian organization created by doctors and journalists. And they go around the world and help people who need it. All right, here we go. A final pig. We got, got a bit of doing before we get there. Had to look at the camera there first. <laughs> you actually get a full health refill as soon as you, like, that's why he looks at the camera, but I already have full health, so it's really just a glamour shot. But of course, we can't fight the evil pig just yet. We have to utilize our infinite magic we just got to blow up all these statues. See, we got these little pedestals here. Now, it's very, it's very important that I cast my magic from a distance, otherwise Humble will talk to the pedestal for a bit, and that's not great. So the one dialogue skip in the game, there it is, enjoy it. Five dollars from Diasoide. Enjoying this run, but I'll donate another ten dollars if Green Hoodie Guy does ten jumping jacks. All right, so this is like the coolest part of the game in my opinion. Like, the time is frozen, so this is just pretty much the point of no return. Like, the first thing you see... All right, well, we got, we got this going on, first of all. <laughs> Great job, guy, I don't know. Thanks, guy. You just gave me my exercise for the week. Sarah used to creep me out just because everything's black and white. It's yeah. very dark and the music's kind of See, like this eerie. what really stuck with me as a kid. It blew my mind because <laughs> it was like really ominous. But yeah, we're just traveling the land, breaking the little pedestals. Oh, a good jump. But yeah, another thing I don't want to talk to the, um, I don't want to actually physically come in contact with the pedestals as an event tag will pop up. And while that's on the screen, I can't actually teleport away, so it'll waste a little bit more time. The ghost magic gives you health, which is convenient since I have full health. <laughs> I don't think I actually use the magic for anything. Besides. It's really bad. Like besides ice candy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
If you talk to Kynan right before you uh, fight the evil pig, you get unlimited magic. You actually get really powerful. And, like of all the action adventure games I've played, I think this one is the one where you get like the most. The, f the reward, like the reward for 100%, is full invincibility from every form of damage. Yeah, it's <laughs> okay. On top of your 20 stock health bar that you got. Super speed and like the most broken weapon ever. Yeah, weapons that kill everything in one hit. Yeah. So th it's basically just like the, hey, beat the game now, like <laughs> reward. $50 from Frederick the Swede. Your run of Cutscene cut scene Simulator 2014 is enhancing my breakfast greatly. Good job <laughs> to everyone running and behind the scenes. Yeah, I am the king of watching cutscenes. I can do this all day. We gotta talk to that one. No other way around it, but that's okay. I don't know why we put the earth robe on, but... Green is my green is more of my color. Just waste a little bit of time. Good, <laughs> good menu. <laughs> and away we go to fight the final boss. Now the final boss is interesting. I actually do a little bit of RNG manipulation on him, because he does this one attack where he does like these three dashes, and I don't want to deal with that at all. So I'm just going to manipulate it out of his cycle entirely, assuming he goes well. If he, he'll use it eventually, but I'd like to not give him the chance to do that. But right before that, we have a very long cutscene showing the boss arena. Wouldn't have it any other way. Cool boss room. It You'll is. You'll see, like, no. Oh, well, yeah. Right. Yeah. What a reference. So his final head secretly David Bowie? I don't think it's much of a secret. Are we gonna see magic dance? <laughs> so, uh, you remind me of the babe. Babe? Oh my god, that's another reference. <laughs> I was making a labyrinth reference, you goon. Yeah, but the babe is also a babe. This is true. Alright, so this manipulation is as followed. Jump up here, wait, he's gonna spawn in the air, hit him. Hit him again, manipulation complete. <laughs> so that awful attack I don't want to deal with is no longer a factor. Unless it is, unless the fight's bad, in which case it becomes a large factor because he uses it twice in a row. But I replaced the attack, like, I replaced the spells in a cycle with him laughing, which is great. So not only <laughs> did I replace an attack I didn't want to do, I just coincidentally replaced it with a, like, a phase that does nothing. I didn't do that on purpose, by the way, it just happened to work out that way. I wasn't, like, planning all night, like, this guy takes five. That's what I thought. Did they ever explain if this was the same pig as the first one? I do not believe so. One can just assume. Excellent. Time, by the way. Cool. The end credits take about 15 minutes. <laughs> so I will just show me saving Tabby so everyone knows that I saved Tabby. There she is. Everyone knows everyone's favorite character from Toma 2, the one in the final cutscene. What? Where? Are <laughs> pigs and then. There we go, my stylish green jumper. You're all right, Teddy. You've come to rescue me. <laughs> oh, thank you. That we doesn't did it. seem awkward at all. Thirty-five dollars like from Zippo. Josh. Dude, look at his face. He's horrific. <laughs> $35 from Joshua. Just woke up and saw one of my favorite games from my Here comes youth. Baron. Everyone remembers him, right? We saved him. He was in the game. <laughs> that reminds me of the first one where you never have to actually do anything with Baron, but he's just like, he just shows, just shows up. Yep. Like, oh, look, it's Baron. All right. Ooh. <laughs> so that's, that's Tomba 2. It's a pretty fun game. I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. Yeah, 
I definitely enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, Spyro, right? Spyro's next. We're doing Spyro. Everyone loves Spyro. Stay tuned for Spyro. Awesome. Just as a reminder, guys, this is Summer Games Done Quick 2014, and we are raising money for Doctors Without Borders. Um, make sure you check out Speed Demos Archive and Speed Runs Live, because most of our people are from there. So stick around, guys. It looks like we've got Spyro up next. It's going to be a great run. Oh.